Greetings and salutations. This is Pandora the Eclectic, and let's just put it this way, folks. I've had a long day, even though I haven't done anything. Yes, I know I look like I'm from 1974. Okay, so, if anyone has an issue with it, you know. Anyways. Lately, I've been involved in a flame war between someone who is incredibly anti either with some people on uh a certain YouTubers yes, a certain YouTuber by the name of I believe it's specific. I think it's specific on Oceana or something like that. And, mind you, I don't really have that much of a problem with him. He's fine, and I don't agree with everything, but, uh, this is a Pacific video, well, Pacific, huh, Pacific, specific video that I find just cringeworthy. But I must ask you a question before I run on. For those out there, do you agree with Utah, uh, a judge, a certain Utah mayor, I believe, on homosexuality? Turns out there was a little thing involved with um, him stating to a large congregation of people about homosexuality not being real. Now, mind you, I'm a Christian, and I know I am to adhere to this, and unfortunately it does say in it that I am not supposed to be on the side of homosexuality, okay? I am not to agree with it at all. I am supposed to either... <laughs> Apparently, according to Jesus, I'm not supposed to really acknowledge it. I am supposed to just say, sin no more, according to one person, but that's another video to talk about. However... <laughs> For this particular situation, he said that, and, you know, Pacific, Oceana, Asia, or something like that, pretty much agrees with the mayor, which, you know, really doesn't bother me, but I have a hard time understanding how somebody can really agree with the idea that homosexuality isn't real, with all the proof that we've given over the years, over time, that uh, yes, it's real, you monkey a headed fool. Well, it's real. Learn to either accept it or hey, you know something? As uh, Pacific has said, bye bye. Multiple times in his videos. God, I hate when he says it like that. It's creepy. Trust me, you want to watch this video, go right ahead, but I am not here to dispute that as much as I'm here to dispute what people said to me in the comments when I actually fought against this. Yes. Let me get to my uh, Google Mail. Okay, is okay. Let's make sure I get all these in the right place. Okay. All right. We'll start off with May twenty-six. Which was four days ago, for those people who don't know. 
after I had actually commented to Pacific, so why people are defending him from me, okay, is beyond my understanding, because, well, I'm sorry, subscribers, followers, it's so dumb that way, but anyways, <laughs> the original, I'll say I said, well, I won't worry about what it says, much as, you know, I defended homosexuality, and that it's real, blah, 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 there you go. Um, it's, you are sick as, the first comment comes from a certain Sam Malone, and yes, I'm going to mention names, I don't care. You weren't afraid to comment and say, I'm not afraid, hey, to let everyone know that you did this. So, here we go. Anyways, the first one comes from Sam Malone. You are sick as hell. And yes, it is a choice. It's just like woman marries man and then later divorces and gets a woman. You are sick as hell. So shut up, you sicko. And if you go to see the video, you can tell the guy really, really likes about punctuality, but you know, some people are just stupid that way. Anyways, uh, let's see. I want to make sure I get all the comments so you understand this little flame war. It isn't, you know, unrealistic or nothing, you know. Okay. First one is, I comment back saying, yes, gay marriage is a choice. The lustful acts that both gay people as well as straight people pursue in are a choice. However, being born gay, aka homosexuality, is not. Get that through your head. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say where it began or something. Oh, uh, someone else. Oh, yes. Here we go. Then someone by the name of Pyramid Head probably came and commented and said, You're wrong. Spelling with the typical spelling of, you know, you y o u r, right? Wrong. Being gay is a choice. No one is born gay. Of course, there's also other things that say. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. That wasn't the only comment Sam Malone left on my original comment. I said, that the science book won't do you any good when you're, when you die and burn in hell. So you better get Jesus. Yep. I best get Jesus. Because, yeah. Ignoring science, which actually helps me better understand the world around me, yes, that will save me from hell, uh, or that will send me straight to hell, one way or another. Hmm. Anyways, person goes, okay. Yeah, I, alright, okay. Well, the comment I gave back to that person, and on this comment, on Samuel's second comment is, well, I'm gonna, presuming that, that there is a real hell, or a real heaven, how sure are you there is a fire in hell, or coolness in heaven? Anyways, you are probably right about the science book, like suggestion. 
especially when you cannot understand your goddamn Bible. Now, the other ones were really messed up, like it doesn't make any sense which order. I, I'm not going to worry about that. Anyways, 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 this one is, again, they go, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that one. Okay. This one is from Colonel Hogan Stalag 13. And it's too mean, but since it doesn't say reply, because some people don't know how to use the internet. It says, Pandora, homosexuality is a choice. Scientifically, if it were genetic, as you seem to imply, hey, hey, it would end quickly as homos almost never reproduce. How do you pass down genetics if you don't have offspring? In short, you cannot. So, your entire theory is utter foolishness. Your desire for tolerance is based around being ill-tolerant, intolerant, who cares if you can spell it right? Spell it too well, by the way. Hey, okay. said, check it out. You're a walking contradiction. You're a walking contradiction, and I have no right. Give me a gray idiot. Anyways, I commented back to him. Well, that's funny. Hey, why you may ask? Because there are thousands upon thousands of gay people. Yet, we have over 7 billion people on this planet, and it will probably keep growing and, and growing because of ignoramuses like you are breeding like rabbits, which would be due to religion and its constant need to keep a people celibate until the day we die, or worse, get married to fulfill a need for sex. Yes. And by the way, or BTW, I decided to put it in privacy since I didn't feel this person understood what that word, that uh, acronym meant. Correcting someone's lack of knowledge on a subject is not intolerance, and it's of someone's intolerance. And I spelled it correctly, that's hence why I capitalized it so he was not so stupid and to understand but it is and of course I'm not very I messed up here it is called sharing knowledge and education yeah, but that's okay hey I wouldn't expect you to know any one iota about that you We'll just say I said something inappropriate, hit, and pass on. <sighs> and of course, another one from Sam Malone. It says, You are a fool, and God says homosexuality is a sin. So, why are you going against God's word, slash, for slash question mark for some reason when you die you shall burn because God made you you didn't make God wow you sure about that dude sure about that because yeah he's right I didn't make him I didn't imagine him and I am told to follow him. I am told to give him and thanks for all the things he does. But maybe it's just me, but um and I'm a Christian too, by the way, so I believe in him and you know, what he's supposed to be and stuff. But you know, I don't think these people quite understand. 
Well, you can't prove any of this. I don't think you can expect most people's belief in it. this and this is going to work. Okay? This isn't going to happen. <sighs> um, then I commented back to oh, this is something from Colin Hogan Stag, and this one was kind of dumb in my opinion, but it was basically to me, which is all science trembles before the seer a logic of your fiery intellect. And when I commented on this, I wasn't sure what he was talking about, but whatever. It's, well, thank you for the compliment. And I did like a little winky face and whatever. Anyways, yeah, after that point, I just, I, I sat through this stupid video being about being anti this is all anti homosexual sexual whole nonsense, which it is. It doesn't make sense. It's not hurting anyone and I just don't understand people who do this. I've had other people attack me for it on my other videos. Like oh yes, you, the null thing. I already did that video a while ago. Oh, good. I don't understand you people. And just letting it be. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's not real. And hey, guess what? It's here to stay. Hey, hey. Hey, guess what? Even though I think this is pseudoscience, I can't really prove it. Um. They've been finding out uh, the reason why, and again, like I said, it's pseudoscience. science. You know, we want all these big families, and according to the pseudoscience that I found out, the more children a woman has, the more adapt that her body becomes to fertilizing the fetus. I mean, feminizing the fetus, so, that's something I found on YouTube, I know good and well, it's probably stupid, and just something that they put on, because it was to make a point, you know, get knowledgeable about homosexuality, I know it's BS, I don't think it's real, and frankly, hey, to you out there who are gay, I'm sorry, you gotta put up with people like this or seeing comments like this on YouTube everywhere. Er, missing people. I mean, I find it annoying because it's like, why? What did I do? To Other than make a comment, and yes, it was a very fiery comment at that, but these comments just seem really stupid, and of course, in my opinion, I feel like, hey, um, if I go to hell, I think that's up to God, not you people. Okay? Anyways, this is Pandora the Eclectic, and you all stay frosty.